morning YouTube this is Becca from Becca's music room I'm here with another summer vlog it is Thursday June 6 maybe I don't really know cuz you know what are dates when you're a teacher and it's summer vacation um, I am actually like wearing real clothing and have like a little bit of makeup on so I feel a little bit more like a real person today um, today I am going to meet my grandmother for lunch which is not for a while right now, it is 8.50, and I'm not meeting her until like one, but I just wanted to go ahead and put clothes on so that I feel a little more normal. Um, right now, I am getting breakfast ready. I did like a really good yoga session this morning. If you do not do yoga, you should. Um, it's wonderful. If you have like any part of you that hurts ever, if your back hurts, if your feet hurt, um, do yoga it will help and I personally like it because I can adjust it so much depending on what I want like if I want like a really good workout then I can do like lots of repetitions of like short amounts of time and it is a really good workout I can pick things that are sta or not stationary that move what's the opposite of stationary I don't know. Um, I can pick poses where you're moving a little bit so that you're like burning more calories. I can pick harder poses so that I am more challenged. Or if I don't feel like doing that, then I can do like really easy things. Um, so it all is just like depending on what you want in life. So like today I did a pretty decent workout. Not like the most intense I've ever done, but pretty, pretty stinking good. And focusing, my back's been hurting, so focusing on like all of the poses that help my back feel better and I just I feel so good so definitely try it if you have not done so before all right breakfast is made it's about nine o'clock so I have a good three and a half four hours till I have to meet my grandmother I am going to just like hustle right now um just get lots of things done i have like videos to put up and i have tpt products to work on and projects to work on and all these different things so i am just gonna like sit down eat my breakfast go for it drink like nine cups of coffee probably um we shall see but that is my goal for this morning is just to like work 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 and that's it look at this beautifulness is that satisfying or what so poppy and my little mini mouse mug this is from the epcot flower and garden festival which is why it looks like a watering can it says happiness blooms from within um and then i have steak and eggs and sweet potatoes and a banana and second glass of lemon water. So I don't know if you care about this or not, but I've been working in the morning at my kitchen table because I've been eating, so I don't wanna like take all my food upstairs and then have dirty dishes and bring them down. Um, so I don't work in my office in the morning, I work down here in the morning. Um, always got my laptop and I've been putting everything else in this basket, which I've actually been doing all school year as well because I work down here during the school year as well while I eat my breakfast again. So it stays like over on that little console table. You can see there's one basket. It sits over next to it. It's like behind this pillar here. Um, but I keep like all of my essential work things. So I have like my planner and I have my notebook where I write down all my planning, my ideas, my composition book for like special projects. And I've got my journal and my Bible and like all these things in here so that I have everything that I need. I can just take the whole basket if I wanna work upstairs, I can take the whole basket upstairs, like whatever I want. So if you have a business and you work from home and you maybe like work all over the home, then this is a really great option for just having a little more mobility. So I stuck my breakfast here, right next to like, you know, the open chair and everything and ran upstairs and went to the bathroom and like grabbed something I had forgotten. And I was just thinking, Man, it's so nice that my dogs are so awesome that neither of them eat my food. I mean, she's eating her food. But still, like, I mean, they're tall enough that they could get that without even hopping on the chair. And they didn't even try. It is at 10 o'clock. I have been working and eating for about an hour and I just wanted to share something that's been really helpful with me. Um, so I don't usually have any problems with like paying attention to the same thing for a really long time. Like I have had a long attention span since I was a kid and it's just 
it's a blessing. I just have always had it. I mean, I have like a distinct memory of being maybe five or six, like just learning how to read in like kindergarten and taking the kitchen timer to my room and setting it for an hour and reading like all the books on my bookshelf for an hour. And you know, they're like chicka chicka boom boom because I was like five, but still, um, so just an example to show you, like that's not usually a problem. Um, but this summer I have found that a little bit harder. I think just cause I'm sitting down at the same place for long periods of time to get lots of work done. And it has just felt a little bit different to me. So what I've been doing is I work for an hour and then I get up and I, you know, get some water and maybe grab a second cup of coffee, whatever, just for maybe like five or 10 minutes. And then I sit down and get back to work. And that has just been really helpful for me to have just a little, little break. Um, there's a thing called the Pomodoro technique where you work really hard for 25 minutes and then break for five. And I was always like 25 minutes. It's like nothing. Um, but I've kind of acquired that for myself for an hour. So yeah, if you struggle with like long periods of time focusing on one thing, that is a really great thing to do. So this is my break. I'm going to wash the dishes because that's an exciting break thing to do. Um, and grab a second cup of coffee and then I'm gonna sit down and continue to work. All right, so here's our super simple outfit of the day. I'm just wearing this black dress. It's from um, Marshalls. It has these little strappy things here. Um, super cute. I've worn it like a million times. I've worn it with sweaters. I've worn it with blazers. I've worn it with a belt. Today I'm just wearing it nice and loose because it's summer and it's hot. Actually, it's not too bad today because it's cloudy. Um, and then I'm wearing these little silver sandals that make me look like I'm trying much harder than I actually am. Um, I have the same watch I always wear and this is my Pura Vida wave ring, which I love, especially for the summer. Probably should have gotten a gold one so that it would match my watch, but whatever. And then I'm just wearing these little hoop earrings with the um, pearls that dangle down on them um, that I wear like all the time and I fixed my hair a little bit because it was looking a little crazy um, so I want it to look a little bit better I got a lot done this morning I worked from 9 until now it's like right at 12 so I worked from 9 to 12 um, got a ton of stuff done I got a lot done on my project I got two YouTube videos so both my vlogs from last week um, ready to go. So one is already up today and then one is going to go live in the morning. And then I started working on my June teaching outfits video, which I actually filmed in May because obviously I'm not in school anymore, but a lot of other people are in school. So I did it anyway. And I did not finish that one because y'all those outfit videos are a pain in the butt because I have to like link everything. So there's like five days and I have to link everything I'm wearing for five days. And like, that's a lot of stuff. And it's not bad. It's just time consuming, especially because I am like really frugal. So I don't buy a lot of new stuff. So it's not like I can just go to my Amazon cart and be like, oh, well, I bought this and this and this. Um, it's like I have had this dress for four years. So let me find something that's similar to it. So it takes a long time, um, but I really enjoy those. I think other people really enjoy those. I seem to get a good bit of views on those. So hopefully you like them. If not, well, then don't watch them. Um, but yeah, so I am about to head out to meet my grandmother. We're going to Jason's Deli for lunch. I'm really excited. I have not been there in a really long time. Um, and I love it. And they have free ice cream which does not work my diet plan, but you know what? Mm, we might have it anyway. We're probably gonna have it anyway. So I will hey see guys, you guys. I am back. I had a lot of fun hanging out with my grandma. I haven't spent that much time with her like one-on-one, -on -one, which is something I'm trying to remedy this summer since, you know, I have plenty of time and she's got plenty of time because she's retired. So um, we went to Jason's Deli, which is always delicious. I got a uh, like, it's called the Mesa Chicken Salad, which is something I had never had before, but it was very, very yummy. Um, and I had water, I was very good, and I only had like this much ice cream, <laughs> um, which is pretty good for me. So um, when I came, oh, and then we went shopping, which was really fun. We actually found a lot of stuff at H&M, which is like somewhere that I always, 
and H&M is one of those stores where I always see things online and I'm like, oh, that's cute. Where is it from? It's from H&M. But I never like find anything in the store that I like. But today it was very successful. And my grandmother actually found a lot of stuff at H&M too. So um, I'm going to show you what I got. I also got um, the last part of my Amazon package, which is a romper that I'm really excited about. And I'm like, please, 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 please fit. I'm kind of nervous that it's going to be too small, but we shall see. All right, so here's my H&M haul for you. So I got this skirt, which is super cute. It was on sale. My poor puppy is freaking out because it's thundering outside. Yeah, I know, my big 75 pound German Shepherd. I know, poor baby. Um, so this is like a midi skirt. It's got like stripes going different ways. It's really fun. It was on the sale rack and I really like it. It's maybe like, an inch longer than I would have liked for it to be, but it is super cute. It was really affordable. Um, and then we got, well, we picked up this shirt and then we found it in navy and it is like almost exactly the same navy as the skirt. So we're like, oh, that's perfect. So I thought that my grandmother had put the white one back to get the navy instead, but apparently she just grabbed them both. So that's awesome even better um and then this is just like a black t-shirt that was oh that color's wonky this is just a black t-shirt um that was five dollars it is quite soft so very happy with that and then i got two dresses from steinmart can you see these this is terrible so this is like a nice pink color it's actually the same color as my nails um and it's like a nice eyelet and it's really cute it's like a little tank top um and then this one i'm really excited about it is white and blue kind of like a china print and it's a flare dress which i love so super excited so this was my amazon package um it's just like a little black romper and it's really simple really cute it's got pockets um it's loose on the top, but a little bit tight on the bottom. I wish that I had gone up a size. I got a medium. I wish I'd grabbed a large, but it's like, it's not so tight that I feel like I need to send it back to get a different one. Um, so I might just deal with it anyway. I wanted it mostly just to wear like at the house or running errands or little things like that. So I think I'm just gonna keep it. And if I order another one in a different color, which I may seriously do, then I will get that one in a larger size. All right, so I'm gonna do a really super quick Amazon haul since I got my last piece that I was waiting on. And yeah. All right, so video for Amazon haul is filmed. It is like, whew. 450. So I think I'm going to play my cello really quickly and then maybe just chill with the book. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right. So I played my cello not for a long time, admittedly, because yesterday and the day before I practiced like extra long. So today I was kind of worn out. So I'm going to do some reading. Um, like always, I'm always in the middle of two books. I read a nonfiction and then a fiction or a fun non-fiction book um so i'm almost finished with a uh, walt disney world a historic bleh, 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 words a historical tour of walt disney world um this one is really fascinating maybe a little bit too in depth <laughs> sometimes but pretty good and i looked this up to link in one of my vlogs where i was talking about it from last week and it's a three-part series i had no idea like nowhere on it does it say part one i just thought it was all by itself but apparently there's two other parts to it so I'm not have to be ordering those soon um and the other books that i'm reading is the fortune hunter oh my goodness people it is so dang good i started it on monday and without reading it at all today because i've read it all today i'm on page 241 it's Thursday. So in three days, I read 241 pages and read part of the other book. Like, I've, it's not like that's all I've been reading. And on Monday, I was finishing up Million Dollar Habits, so I wasn't even done yet with that one. So this is so good. Um, Daisy Goodwin, this is the third book I've read by her, um, which is all three of her. I own all three now. Um, and they're all so good. Um, American Heiress is the first one that I read. I think I borrowed it from a friend in high school and then ended up getting it at like a library book sale. And then last summer I read Victoria, which was about Queen Victoria. And this summer I'm reading this one. It's so good. 
like just all of them have been like cannot put them down they're historical fiction they're pretty accurate for historical fiction um but just so good so good i highly highly recommend them they're all set in england in like 1800s 1700s that kind of time periods so really 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 enjoy it. so i'm really looking forward to this i um have some iced coffee and also my water over here and yeah so i'm pretty much just gonna sit here and read for a little bit until my husband gets home um and i need to go cook dinner or i might just like go chill on the couch or something like that but not anything too exciting so i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here thank you so much for following along with me um hopefully today was a little bit more different than the other i really try to pick days that are different from each other so that you can see like a wide variety of different things and stay interested but if there's anything in particular you want to see more of please let me know because i can you know do more videoing on days that I'm doing more work or more videoing on days that I do less work. Whatever you are wanting to see, let me know so that I can make sure to include more of it. I hope you are having a wonderful summer. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and have a wonderful, wonderful week.